Hey guys, Jen here from Craft Penguin Planner. Welcome to my channel. Today we are planning the week of July 1st through the 7th in my Pentrix Weekly. Um, this is part of my B6 hybrid and we're going to use the Freedom Collection from my shop. Um, I have been using this in my daily already this week. So obviously some of the stickers are missing. Um, because I've, you know, I've already started using the kit. I did also print just like, just the date covers and I grabbed the octagon doodle grid that, um, matches this collection. So it's been a hot minute since I have, um, filmed any of the, anything other than pretty much my daily plan with me which is every other week or um you know just a couple of hauls that I had last week and you know I want to get back on track I do um and I'm sorry things have been kind of crazy if you uh watch my other videos you probably have noticed that um on the weeks that I have had videos up that there's been a lot going on. So it, it's, it's just been a lot to balance. And truthfully, I haven't really, um, been planning in here at all. I haven't been planning in my, um, Panici at all. I have been tracking my food for Fitbit. Um, I just haven't been writing anything in my Panici. Um, so, like, I am staying on track with my health and fitness stuff, just not in a physical planner. Um, I mark, like, things like the, um, migraines in my daily anyways, and for things like my asthma needing to use the inhaler, stuff like that, I I have another app where I that's specifically for tracking that. So all the things that I normally pretty much track within the Panici for my health stuff is still being tracked elsewhere, just not in that one planner um would I like to get back on track again yes but that involves time and you know focusing on getting back to it so will I get back to it sure I'm at some point but right now I'm trying to rework stuff in with craziness and schedule and get a schedule more balanced out and figured out so yeah um if you're new here welcome um i used to be very consistent in posting and then kind of dropped the ball when everything went crazy so yeah um is me trying to get back somewhere um, on track. Um, let's see. It's really hard to be like, oh, which one do I not use when they're all beautiful? So, um, I don't know. We're gonna, um, we're, we're gonna still use as much as I can. Obviously, I can only use four on the sidebar. The other one I may save and use like in a daily or something because it would be a great place to put like um, something that's going on for the day but still have very decorative. I feel like I need to use that one. I kind of like need to use them all. I just can't use all five of them here. It's just crazy. But what I can do is whichever one I don't use, I can make sure I use the full box. Um, 
in the spread here. Which one, which one, which one? I feel like it would almost be wrong to not put the flag. I don't know. They both are very uh, good stickers, so we'll, we'll use that somewhere. Uh, maybe not in the spread, but we'll use it somewhere. Um, so yeah, life's been on the crazy side. Um, oh yeah, this is, since there's four I can use, um, they will be all the same going down. Um, crazy life. Let's see. Today I went out for a lunch shift doing like DoorDash and Uber Eats. Um, I had Instacart and Spark turned on, but there wasn't really any good offers that I could take. Um, well, I mean, I could have taken any of them, but it would have been not worth the money. I figured... Today might be a good day to go out. People getting ready for tomorrow will be in the 4th. Um, but people may be out doing um, their own shopping today too. Because I didn't get any shopping orders, believe it or not. Um, I did see one that I declined. Um... As much as I liked the offer itself, I totally declined it because it was a stacked order for Aldi. So it was two shops at Aldi and then delivering to two different customers. And let me tell you, lately I have had nothing but issues when it comes to DoorDash and Aldi. It's the only store that I have a lot of issues with. Um, a couple weeks ago, I had a problem where... Actually, I had three problems that day. Two of them involved Aldi. One of them was just a weird thing that was not so bad. But um, support is no help. Let's just put it that way. So the first one, my... Um, Dasher card got declined at checkout for Aldi. Mind you, this was the first time this happened. It's happened multiple times since then. It's happened twice more since. Um, that was the first day. Mind you, that one was literally a single item. It was a bag of onions. So, you know, the total was like $2.50 or something like that. It was not an expensive order. Um, that's the first time I ever had my Dasher card declined, so I messaged support. And, of course, support gave me the nonsense, like, I didn't know what I was doing. They were like, oh, make sure you're on the checkout screen and that you run your card as credit and that you've picked up the items the customer wanted, um, duh. I've done probably over a hundred shop and deliver orders for you guys by now and have done many at Aldi and I know how this works. Did I verbalize any of that? No, of course I did not. Um, but I sure thought it. And so like they were literally being absolutely no help and it came to a point of, um, well, can you just pay for it yourself and then request for reimbursement? And I'm like, how? How do I request for reimbursement? Because I'm not going to agree to any of this unless I know how I'm getting paid back for that 250 that I'm spending out of pocket. You know? Out of my own money. So, they told me, I screenshotted it, said thanks, and then ended the chat. 
real quick. So I was able to hop back over to the register, pay for that out of my pocket, and went on my way. And of course, later that day when I got home, I submitted that receipt for reimbursement and I had it back in the account um, like the next day. I mean, in the is in the payment section of where, when they're going to pay me. So I, it's not like I had that money immediately back in, in the account that I uh, paid for it out of. It was just, it will be, it would have been sent to me when I, you know, my next payday when it sends to my account. So then a little bit later, I had an issue where, um, I was doing an order and it was having issues with the weight of the produce, which was stupid. Um, and I kept trying all kinds of things and they, and so I messaged support and then they were like, um, just reduce it by a certain amount until it takes it. And I'm like, well, will that make my dasher card decline? Because if the weight is actually heavier than what it's calculating it for, you know what I mean? Will it make my card decline? I'm like, I wasn't going to put up with that a second time. I'd already done that, and, you know, once that day and I wasn't doing it again. And then they just gave me... um a bunch of baloney of well then we uh we, you know about troubleshooting your thing and like trying to say oh well it's probably your app your um your phone causing issues and blah 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 essentially is what they were trying to get at and I'm like no no it's not my phone um it's your stupid app but um again didn't say anything I just said thanks and ended the chat, um, which I did end up get, lowering it just a smidge and it worked, but then of course I was paranoid about is it going to decline my card at checkout, so I went back and tried to um, find produce that was a little bit smaller for the same quantity and try to get the weight really close. So it, I did and it, it worked. But in the meantime, I was super frustrated about everything. So then, oh, it only gets worse. Um, same day, I, um, oh, I don't really want to put it over the eagle's face, but that would look really weird on the side like that. I guess it's just going to have to be what it is um I went and I did this whole shopping trip no big deal it was great actually it was a food lion shopping trip but is beside the point because the problem that I ran into was with the app and not with the store um so I did this whole shopping trip and then checked out, no big deal. Got out in the parking lot, loaded up in the car, and then I go to go on my way to the customer and I am literally getting nowhere. The app is not doing anything but giving me like, like it was frozen almost. It just wasn't doing anything. It wouldn't load. I literally um, closed the app, reopened it multiple times, restarted my phone, all the things that I could potentially do. And it was not letting me click to continue to the customer. Finally, I was at least able to click in the corner and go into the details and find the customer's address for which I then plugged into Google Maps and I went and I drove over there and uh, delivered the order 
Meanwhile, the app still was not letting me do anything. It was a hand it to me, so I was able to, um, you know, hand it to them. I did let her know. I said, I'm having issues with the app right now, but, um, so I, um, it ended up where I had no choice but to do the one and only thing I didn't want to necessarily do, and that was uninstall and reinstall the app. Well, when I did that, and it loaded back up, finally it's working. However, um, now it literally set me back at the beginning of the shopping trip. I'd already delivered the order. Um, so I had to physically call support and explained to them the situation and they um put me on hold for a few minutes so they could verify with the customer which i completely understand they're going to verify with the customer make sure the customer actually got their food and i'm not just making up stories which i wouldn't but you know and they called and apparently the customer answered but then hung up so, they must have thought it was, like, a scam or something. I don't know. But the lady was really nice on the other end and um, was like, well, given the information you gave and all that, um, we're going to go ahead and complete this out for you. And so they did. They completed out the order for me. Um, I got my pay, all the things. So, that was good. Um... We'll use this to mark this video. Um, yeah. So, that was a couple weeks ago. And then, just this past weekend, I was at Aldi again. Um, mind you, I had already had my car declined twice since. And had to pay out of pocket. The, this this gets worse though. Saturday I was out. I had a thirty five dollar stack, so it was two shops at Aldi, and then deliver. Um, these are from Cheerful Planner Girl. Um, I love these. Her shop is now unfortunately closed. It just closed the um, other day, and I'm sad, but. Um, Yeah, so I won't be able to link her down below, unfortunately. Oh, tweezers are from Perfect Prince Co. Um, so, it was a $35 offer. It was a really good offer. And mind you, it would have gone up to because the customers were adding items to the order as I was trying to shop. Trying to shop. That was the problem. I got in there and like with every item that I was picking up and scanning in and all that, I was getting the spinning wheel of death. Guys, I spent probably a good hour in there fighting the app and wasn't even a third of the way done the shop. I should have been finished and on the way to the customer, if not already delivered to the first customer. By the time I had it and gave up. So, I finally gave up. I messaged support and was like, I'm having issues even completing the um, order. The app is literally not working at all for me. Um, and I can't complete this. You know, so they unassigned me, which hit my completion rate, which... They only unassigned me from one of them. Like, I was trying to, you know, deal with the whole thing through support. So that way, A, it wouldn't hit my completion rate. And B, they could 
take care of both of it all at once and I wouldn't have to think. And, and that way they were aware that there was a problem with the app and it wasn't me. Also, I um, literally um, it, it sucked the life out of my phone battery. Um, it went down to like 40% in that short amount of time because it was struggling so much to, this was an oops sheet by the way, um, in case you are wondering, that one was definitely an oops because I see it right there with the black line at the top of it, um, but it also was clearly a little bit oopsed in cutting because um, it was a little deep. I'm just marking here because I did have the doodle bundle release on Monday and I I'm getting better about remembering to post those reels to YouTube so I'm proud of myself for that much at least so I did do that um, Monday um and I had the doodle bundle release now I um kind of forgot that I needed more of these so I'm not going to worry about the script for it right now um I'll have to cut some after and fill it in which is fine um but I'm going to put that down as well as I uh posted the July calendar on Monday so yeah I ended up having to unassign both of those so that was a $35 loss right there plus then I had to sit for a while and let my phone charge before I could do anything because Saturdays um I'm thinking maybe I use these and I can put two things in them um Saturday Fridays and Saturdays I do a lot of shopping orders so it's not like I could even just switch and take an Instacart because again, that's shopping. Um, so there were so many issues I've been dealing with with DoorDash and Aldi. And where did I put my, should I put, maybe I'll put like um, the check boxes within this, but still have because it was two things I posted. Yeah, I think that'll work because I can always put the one sticker and then write in the other. It was the calendar and um, the doodle bundle released that day. So yeah, it has been a lot of fun. So I had a lot of wasted time on Saturday, barely made any money Saturday because of that, which is, very frustrating because it's one of my busiest days when I do deliveries, which is why I do deliveries on Saturday and Friday. Friday went well, but Saturday did not. Um, I'm, I'm going to put one of these red ones back and pull another blue because otherwise it's going to be red, blue, red again. So... Nope, actually it's not even going to be that at all because I didn't post much yesterday. I only posted in the waddle. Um, Kelly of Indiana Inker started a new group. Um, if you have a YouTube channel or if you're someone who just likes to watch planner related YouTube videos, um, go check out this new group. It is called planner related videos. I will link it down below. So if you want to join, you're welcome to join. Um, she created it as a place for um, blah, blah, blah words. She created it as a place, you know, for planner YouTubers to share their videos, but also, you know, those who are looking to find new planner related video content, you, you have a place to do that. So, um, she's the one who created it 
and she did ask if I would co-admin with her and I said sure um so I am an admin with her in there and there's just two questions you gotta answer it's like what planner do you have or that you use and do you have a planner related YouTube and if not it's fine you can say no it's okay you don't have to have a YouTube channel um, to be a member of that group you can just go and enjoy um, all the content being posted and shared there okay um, so I did post this morning a post my birthday is on Saturday so I will be having a sale and I posted a post about guessing my age because that is going to be the discount um, you know what I can fill this really I can fill no you know what I'm gonna come back to that just in case um, yeah so the discount that'll be happening on Saturday it's only a one day only sale okay um, and I probably will be setting it up where you don't need a code so even if you don't follow me on other platforms you'll have access to that it's literally gonna start at midnight and run till midnight basically um, but the whole day on the 6th sale it's gonna be the biggest one I've had in a while that's the only hint I'm giving right now on my age um, tomorrow is the 4th so clearly I'm gonna do some sort of happy 4th post clearly other than that I really don't know what's going on tomorrow I actually might run and do some delivering early in the day depends on how busy it is if it's not very busy then you know whatever but there may be people who forgot stuff and they don't want to leave their um, whatever they're doing at home to go get it and order out for it. I could be one of those. I don't have any real plans, so I could be one of those that makes and runs the deliveries. Um, but I have food bank tomorrow evening, so can't run all day. Um... Friday I am going to post the sale information for sure um, that way you know you actually know what because like at midnight Friday night going into Saturday you know it will be um, it will begin um but other than that, I'm not sure for Friday. And then Saturday, let's be honest, the way things have been, I probably won't have a video for you. Um, but Saturday, I do have some plans. No, I am not working on Saturday. Um, I am taking my birthday off. But since it is going to be a sale day we are going to obviously have something to be like yeah sale um will I do a reel hmm I probably should shouldn't I I probably should It will probably be photo based, which wouldn't, I mean, it would be more, where's my, there it is. Um, it's something I can create on TikTok with like a scrolling with the photo type one, but I can't really do that on um, YouTube. It'd have to be like a slide show type. So I don't know if I'll be posting anything like that on here, but like I said, um, you can still you'll still have access to the sale it, um, even if you don't follow me anywhere else I'm gonna make it where there's no code needed so um, 
the discount will auto apply. Um, Sunday will just be spread share type stuff. Um, I think, I mean, unless I have other ideas throughout the week. And if I end up with some releases somewhere, then that gets thrown in too. So, um, oh, where's my, I need the scripts for this. Silly. So yeah, um, life's been crazy, but I have started on do Pixent. I was able to start on that, um, last week. My um, prescription was, arrived yesterday of uh, my first actual batch for me to inject myself, which, you know, because I got the other one done in in the doctor's office, the first one. Um, and then, well, we want to use this one because I didn't get a chance to use it. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven. I have room for all. Okay. When I can definitely say, like, there's nothing. I, I definitely didn't. There, there's nothing else to post for those days because I just. Well. It's already passed. Um. But yeah, that's how things have been going um, lately. I want to do something different than what's already, like, literally right here. So we have this one, we have this one, we have this one, we have that one. So it could be one of those three, I guess. Um... Wow, I lost my train of thought, guys. I'm sorry. I was talking nonstop, and then all of a sudden, mm, yep, nah, I don't know what happened. My brain just shut down, apparently. Um, but, yeah, that's been lately. And with these, if... For whatever reason, I have something I do post on um, TikTok or YouTube. I could literally put a box over across and it won't like really mess up the um, photo too much. I don't think it matters. I can always use whatever's left of these in my daily sometime this week, but... I will probably use um, 4th of July kits through Friday in my daily. I've been using it all this week. But starting Saturday, it's switching to birthday. It is switching to birthday. I am going to have my birthday spread in my daily. It's going to happen. All right. So there you go. I, uh... Did a whole lot of stickering on this one. Which actually isn't normal when I fill these out. I usually have a lot of blank. But I also filled in more um, boxes. And it's also later in the week than it normally is when I film these. Um, it just feels like there needs to be something up here. Even if it's just a um, random brush stroke. It just needs something there. Okay. Cool. All right, so that's it. Um, again, I'm sorry. I've been kind of MIA a bit and just like every other week. But life's been a little weird um, <laughs> and busy. I'm trying to do everything with the shop, but also trying to, um, you know, run some deliveries and just uh, keep bills paid. You know how that goes. Um Especially right now with inflation being so crazy. Anywho, I'm going to get off of here. I'm going to go um, figure out and fix myself something for dinner while this gets uploading. And um, thank you for being here and watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, 
and we'll chat soon. Bye, guys.